In my last video, I looked at some of the best known names in British Art Deco ceramics. In this session, I want to look at a less well known but important designer. He's a man called Enoch Bolton, but better known to his friends as Ernie. He served an apprenticeship at Grimwade's Pottery in Hanley. He showed a lot of artistic promise and as part of his training was enrolled at Burslem School of Art. He moved on to Wiltshire and Robinson in Stoke. Now this is the company that is best known for Carlton wear and he worked his way up to be design manager by the early 1920s and he introduced the very latest trends. Tutankhamun wear, celebrating Howard Carter's famous discovery of the boy king's tomb in 1922. This Egyptian fan design was heavily influenced by designs and ideas coming out of that Paris International Exposition of 1925. And amongst the other lines that were produced under Ernie Bolton's leadership, this jazz ginger jar, a jazz vase, a Carlton tray, and this lustrine bowl with a stylized Chinese bird. In 1929, he was headhunted by a competitor, Fielding's Crown Devon Pottery of Stoke. They felt they'd been left behind, that they were losing out to new designs, very keen to catch up with the latest Art Deco fashions. But 1929, this is the start of the Great Depression. Most potteries are cutting back on production. At Crown Devon, Ernie Bolton took the opposite approach. As the other potteries scaled back, he saw an opportunity to increase market share and increased operations at Crown Devon. The company's back stamp was changed from an Edwardian logo to a more Art Deco motif. And there were significant improvements to quality. The Pottery Gazette wrote this in 1932. Many wonderfully attractive lines of altogether fresh interest and above all at very popular prices are continuing to pour out of this source. The traditional shapes received new Art Deco bold designs and techniques were introduced such as tube lining and overglaze enamelling and the use of matte glazes copied from German art potteries. This is an example of Ernie Bolton's work with the uh, Crown Devon um, and it's called Plumleaf and it's incorporating embossed fruits and the glaze is this German copied matte glaze. If I turn it over you should be able to see the back stamp there. They also produced embossed salad tableware and musical novelties like this Daisy Bell jug and figurines. And Bolton went on to become a director of Fieldings before joining Coalport as commercial director. Why is he not better known? Well, he didn't sign pieces. He's not an individualist, not a self-promoter. We know he was an accomplished artist, but the extent to which he designed the pieces or simply oversaw and steered other designers is very hard to unpick. There is no doubting his good commercial sense. And I'm going to turn now to a highly successful Derbyshire pottery that's still in business. And I'm talking, of course, about Denby. And it's a company with a long history, goes right back to 1806. And it was the chance discovery of a seam of fine clay during road building in the area that led to the company being started. But their most sought after items date from the 1920s and the 1930s, the Art Deco period, when they're producing tube lined wares and Art Deco influenced electric blue orient wear and Danesby wear. Colourful vases, but also strikingly monochrome vases. The best known designers from that period were Donald Gilbert and Alice Teichner. 
and Alice was a, an Austrian refugee. Their designs for the 1950s onwards continue to be popular and they owe a great deal to Art Deco ideas. High quality wear, practical, instantly recognisable and the big name from the later period was designer Glyn College. Now in the next video I'm going to delve into Art Deco graphics and illustration. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons and click on the notification bell to be informed when the next video is available. Or you can subscribe by clicking on the rose window over my shoulder.